everybody, it's Teen Girl 224 Robin. Um, I was coming on to show you some of the candies, candy ornaments that I've um, that I've been making over the past couple of weeks. Um, part of the reason why I've been kind of MIA and between working, doing a lot of things, and um, having a couple of viruses, that's kind of where I've been. Uh, but here's some of the candies that I've made. Um, I just used a, a little shadow box. I think this was Kane Company's shadow box um, to where I could store them in. Uh, but it kind of looks like candy box. So, anyway, I'll take the lid off and show you. All these are um, air dried clay. Um, this just plain Crayola air dry clay that you can get at Walmart. And I, I've used almost the entire bucket um, on it. But I took and made uh, gumdrops. And it took uh, two, about three days for them to dry really good. And then I painted them um, all these pastel colors. And then used um, this glitter again. Um, from I got it at Hobby Lobby. Ooh, there's something in there. But I got it from Hobby Lobby um, a couple of years ago, and Mod Podge them and then rolled them in it to where it'd give it that sugary kind of look. So I have all these, and then I made some little um, peppermints, so to speak. And wrapped them in, painted them, and wrapped them in cellophane, and they'll hang from the tree as well. And then these are just some little lollipop-like things. That I made. Um, these are those uh, little sticks that everybody's getting at Tuesday morning. The Claudine Hillman craft sticks for 99 cents. Um, and so that's just a chipboard that I cut out. Two pieces of chipboard covered with paper and then I took on the edges I took and covered it with some glitter glue that I had found at, I think I'd found three, three or four bottles of this at Tuesday morning too for a little bit of nothing and put it on um, the edges. Some of them are silver, some of them are blue, some of them, that was one with silver on it. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, those will all go on the tree and then I've made, um, Oh, let's see. Where can I put this? Then I made cotton candy. Um, this is just um, some cardstock that I rolled up to look like the little cone. And uh, polyfill that I dyed with. Um, started out using food coloring and it just wasn't quite intense enough. And so I put a, mixed up a little bit of acrylic paint and put down in the bag as well and um, let them sit for almost a week and so I made uh, I made an entire box full for ornaments and then um, toilet paper rolls I took and covered them with some silver pepper now these will go these will be like outdoor decorations because they're so big um, but toilet paper rolls just covered in foil and some saran wrap. I had several of those. And then, um, of course, I've made um, some Hershey's Kisses. I made those in several sizes. And I put, rather, you know, where normally it would say Hershey's Kisses or Kisses or something another. Mine says Candy Creek because my blog, I don't know if you all know it or not. I know some do and some don't, but... My blog is called um, Candy Creek, so I was thinking this summer, why in the world do I not have a candy-themed Christmas tree? So, it's going to change this year, but um, let's see, what else have I made? I made, uh, these will go outside too, I'm going to add some ribbon around the top, and to keep them, um, um, just, you know how you'll get bags of cotton candy places? I'll take and um, stick like a wire piece of wire up in here to where I can stick it down in 
um, my trunk. I'm going to have a trunk, an old trunk that I had redone this summer, and it's going to be full of candies and stuff. So I made several of these, tons of all these, and, oh, oh sorry, these, I bought these um, balls because I'm going to make gumdrop topiaries, and, um, I've started, I've gotten this many gumdrops made so far, but, <clears throat> um, what I'll do is I'll do the same procedure for I'll put Mod Podge on these and then roll them in the, the, the glitter, and then I'll have them all over, cover the entire ball, have it up on a wood dowel, whoops, up on a wood dowel, and then for my base, I'm going to use a terracotta pot and paint it all up. And so I'll have two gumdrop topiary trees. Um, but I'm going to have to get some more air dry clay um, before I can finish those. So, of course, then I'm going to um, make big lolly. <coughs> excuse me. Going to make big lollipops. For outside, you know, just gigantic lollipops and gigantic, um, well, I've started with these. These will be gigantic gumdrops, or not gumdrops, but, uh, well, what am I trying to say? Candies, whatever kind of candy. But I'll, uh, I've taken painted my edges here, and I'll take and cover these like so, and then put a piece around the center as well, wrap it in cellophane, and voila! Of course, I'll Christmassy it up, you know, I'll put glitter or something on it to make it look more Christmassy to where it just doesn't look like paper on styrofoam. So, anyway, that's, that's some of the things that I've been doing, the candy part of it anyway. Um, I'll come back in just a little bit. I'm, I don't mean to really rush, but then again, I do mean to rush because I'm trying to make my videos shorter and get quality, quality material in rather than just me rambling like I am now. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I want to thank all of my new subbies for subbing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.